Hi mom and everyone who is not my mom, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, hi my name is Jen and I make content to help motorcycle riders keep their bodies healthy. Today I wanted to talk to you about agility and reaction skills. Just like my last video focusing on beginner balance and coordination, these skills are imperative for motorcycle riders because we use them every single time we ride. Agility seems like a scary word that sports players use, but in reality, being agile just means that you can move your limbs easily in a fast manner. If you don't know where to start, or if you think you can't do it, this video can definitely help you. If you think that that kind of stuff is too fitnessy for your liking, that's totally fine. Do these drills in your jeans and have a beer afterwards. Just please try it, because you never know, you might end up enjoying it. All the equipment you'll need today is your mat, some space on the floor, and something like a belt to create a line on the floor. For this first drill, you're going to stand on one side of the line, you're going to march on the spot, and every second step you will step over that line and back again with the foot that is closest to that line. Always returning back to the same side of the line that you started on, you are not moving your whole body over the belt or the line. I'd like you to step over the line 10 times with your left foot before having a quick break and then switching sides and then stepping over the line with your right foot. As you can see here with each of my demonstrations, I'm getting faster and faster the more I do these drills. The key with agility is not to be average at doing a lot of drills, it's to be really good at doing the drills that you are practicing. So this is my fastest demonstration. You can see that I have bent my knees a little bit and I'm really shuffling those feet as fast as I can. The next drill that we are practicing, we are using the same format with our feet and that marching transition, and we are stepping over the line with the outside leg. As you get faster at these drills, you'll notice that your arms want to start swinging a certain type of way. Don't fight it. Use your arms and your momentum to help move your body in the natural way that it wants to move. For this exercise, you'll be facing the belt, one foot over the belt and the other foot behind. We are just going to complete some scissor jumps, so try and move up and down the belt as I am demonstrating here. Two things to note with this movement, try not to let your heels touch the ground and try and be as quiet as possible with each foot landing. This next exercise we are just doing lateral hops or side to side hops over the belt. Again, just remember with each set or with each practice that you do, try and move a little bit faster every single time. this exercise we are starting to incorporate some single leg work or some unilateral work. Take it nice and easy to start off with. Make sure that you have the right feeling and the right sensations and balance in each side before progressing to the next exercise. Also, try and make sure that you are hopping and landing in the same spot each time. You don't want to be bounding around the room. Try and hop and bounce where you came from and back to where you started.
So this is me concentrating super hard because I am bouncing and hopping to the side with my left leg. This is the side that I have nerve damage on from my disc herniation. So again, just to remind you, please take it easy and just really try and do everything as perfect as you can. For this exercise, we are completing ice skater lunges or bounding laterally to each side. I want you to move nice and slowly and make sure that you are balanced and set on each side before taking that big leap over the belt onto the other side to balance on the other leg. This is what it looks like when you totally miss the point of the exercise. <laughs> Please don't be that person. The last exercise that we have today is a single leg broad jump. This means that you will be taking off using one leg and landing gently, as softly and as quietly as possible with both feet, shuffling back to the starting point and switching legs. If you are not quite at the point where you feel like you need to take off and fly and jump as far as you can using one leg, please don't be scared. Just try and jump as a small distance as possible, landing with both feet, really feel how you land, use those muscles to stabilize yourself and walk back to the starting position. And on the other side of that, if you feel like this exercise is a little bit easy, try and jump as far as possible using the power from that one leg and really shuffle back quickly to your starting position. We have just a couple of stretches to finish off today's video. Firstly, we are going to go into downward dog. We're going to stretch out those calf muscles, press one heel firmly into the ground, lifting the other heel up, and then alternate as often as you feel necessary. From downward dog, we're going to transition into pigeon stretch. This is one of those stretches you can take it and use it how you want to. If you want to feel a glute stretch or a hip stretch, it's up to you to really find that stretch, whether it be keeping your chest up nice and tall, or perhaps you can lower your chest nice and close to the ground. After about 60 seconds, we're going to switch sides and fall into pigeon on the other leg. If you are unable to get into pigeon for whatever reason at all, please lay on your back, tuck one leg up, bring that knee to chest and really angle that foot across your body and just play around with the angling of your knee, bring your knee in, you might want to move it out a little bit, bring that foot up, move it down, play around with this stretch on your back and just see how it feels. When you find a good position, just hang out there for about a minute. The last stretch that I have for you today is straddle. This means you'll be sitting up and bring those legs open uh, as to whatever your comfort level allows you to. Keep your back nice and straight, your chest up nice and tall. Uh, that's how you want to be feeling that stretch. You should feel it in your hips, in your groin, down your hamstrings, just wherever your body is pretty tight. That's it for this video guys, please like, subscribe and share with anybody who you think might benefit from this information. Stay safe out there and I'll see you on the next one.